Welcome to another episode of Bigfoot Hunters. Since you've seen me last, we've had a revelation. Um, we've had a town hall meeting where we've had a fantastic turnout of three people. Um, and one of the residents stuck us the most, Fr Mr. Fricky van Deventer, who's currently at Bigfoot Lake, who we're going to go and see now, has had a Bigfoot encounter. So just stay tuned and wait a few minutes and we'll get back to you with, the, with our interview with Mr. Fricky van Deventer. We're here with Mr. Fricky van Deventer. Hello. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Mr. F uh, Mr. van Mr. van Deventer is the person that was at our town hall meeting and he agreed to come meet us today and tell us a bit about his sighting. Mr. van Deventer, what can you tell us about what you saw at the dam? I was here so some with my, my, my sister, as for the amount my wife. Some with my fro. And I was some here so with my clean kind, Jacobus. Yes. En ons het iets hier van die, van my oog gesien daarvoor. Ja. Um, ek weet nie as jy, do you prefer I speak English? It could your... be our, our viewers would prefer English. Ok, so. I was sitting here, like so with my, with my rifle. Goed, there is crocodile in here, Cro yes. crocodiles yes. in this beer. And I see something from the corner of my eye, in those woods right there. What was it? What did it look like? Look like a grizzly bear at first, but then I thought bliksem. There aren't any grizzly bears here in South Africa. So I took out my far lookers and I look at it down there. What did you see? I saw something. It looked like it was a big foot, it was a great foot, big feet. Uh, how, how, if you can show me more or less how, uh, yeah. how tall it was. See those trees over there? Yes. It was about as high as a tree. Alright. It was about as high as a tree. Now do you sit here with your rifle for for protection, for protection or for the crocodiles? It's okay, Vicky. I'm sorry, so I'm on the job. I can't. You professional. I'm a professional. What does that question repeat? Um, do you sit here with your rifle for protection from the Bigfoot or from the crocodiles? From the Bigfoot, because the, the Bigfoot, it was yeah, it was trying to catch my carp. I catch carp with melee balls. In the Bigfoot, he tries to steal my car from me. Were you, was your wife very scared? She were quite scared. But then, I told her it's going to be fine, baby. Tonight, stuff is going to happen. You know what right. I mean? Now, is there anything else since you've been fishing today? Have you seen anything today? Or heard uh, anything? I heard a stone. It hit me on the back of my head. I heard it. It flew. It hit me in my head. Did but that Bigfoot, it would need to walk. It yes. walks so. Is it? Yeah, it walks so. Do you have any idea why it walks like that? It's probably drunk or something, you know? Some of my brandy, I went to go to the bushes to take a, to take a poo. And then, um, I came back and some of my brandy were gone. Are you sure it wasn't maybe just your wife drinking it? I'm, I don't know my, my name. Alright. Yeah, uh, but anyways, Mr. Van Deventer, we appreciate your help and your and your interest in this. Okay. If we find anything, we will inform you. But thank you very much for your help. Thank you very much Enjoy for your help. Fishing. You too, man. Yeah. Right. Thank you, man. Hi. Here we are again at Bigfoot Lake. Here with the forest, and Mr. Van Deventer spotted the Bigfoot. Um, decided to come here today. We're going to look to see if we find any evidence. Uh, maybe we see if we can maybe find a Bigfoot. Let's go have a look. As you look, you see it's a very pop uh, woody, very populated area with trees. You know, perfect territory for Bigfoot. Uh, let's just have a look to see if we can find anything. A lot of broken underbrush. Let's have a look, see if we can see anything here. Let's have a look. So, yeah. Yes, I'm back. Come back, come back, come back. Yes, I'm back. Did you hear that? Yes, hear something. There's something at the back. Let me get the gun. Get the gun.
Good line of sight for the dart gun. I'm gonna send my cameraman to get closer. I'm gonna stay in case it starts to run. Can you believe it? Check what this is. Bigfoot with erotic magazines. Basically, this is how it learns to become like humans by reading these sort of magazines. Right, let's see if we can find the Bigfoot. There it is. There it is. There it is. Dart it. Dart got the Bigfoot. Alright. Let's have a look at this amazing creature. Alright, so we shot this Bigfoot. Just need to do a bit of an autopsy. Check it. It's been around for a very long time. You see, it's quite a big, it's quite a large Bigfoot. I just want to feel around here. Check out it's doesn't have any babies or is pregnant. Let's have a look here. Yeah? This feels like a man. You can see that from the magazines, it's definitely a man. Anyways, this is officially the first Bigfoot. So just just as a moment for myself, I'd like to stand over it like a trophy. I've been hunting this thing for the past 15 years and this is their first official Bigfoot so I'm very proud of this but anyways to all our viewers out there um, we've officially now found our what's, what's happening officially found the first Bigfoot um, what's wrong getting away getting away we shoot it again Let's go look for it. I'm gonna hunt it. It's not getting away from me. There it goes, there it goes. Let me try to shoot it again. Let me try to shoot it again. Gun is jammed. Gun is jammed. Gun is jammed. Go. like this Bigfoot has got away, just outrun me. The dart obviously isn't strong enough to keep it down as like a normal animal. It means we'll have to continue the search. <laughs> 